this is a poem about pronouns, you and me, or you and my. And the brilliance of Annie Litt is that what she does is she takes you sounds and she runs you through a dictionary so that you becomes not that kind of flat you that you can easily forget about and stop thinking deeply about pronouns. Part of what I think Harriet Mullen is trying to tease out is how we... How, how we're seeing others and how and how we're calling them into relation with ourselves and the power of naming. These names are various and they simultaneously, because of their compounded nature, they start to mean nothing, but at the same time they can't. They can't mean nothing. You right. can't get away from the history of right. those words. Look. Thinking about our being in relation to one another is necessarily addressed by thinking about the way that we're always in relation to language and using language to try to describe that relation to do that, like, meta-discursive project is where language poetry locates itself. Yes.